In this video, I will show you how to import your properties from Airbnb. When you open a new Rentals United account, the first step before connecting to the various sales channels is to create your properties in Rentals United. If you already have your properties created in Airbnb, you can use the Airbnb import feature, which will create a shell of your properties in Rentals United, and this will save you time when creating your inventory. Please note that this feature cannot fully recreate your property content, but it will provide a base on which you can add more property information to complete the property before you connect to the sales channels. Start by clicking on Import from Airbnb. On the pop-up, it will specify what type of properties cannot be imported. This includes co-hosted properties, unlisted properties, or parts of property. If you want to import a property that is co-hosted, you'll need to import those properties from the main account where the property lives, and not from the co-hosted account. Click on that you understand and import properties now. If you're not yet signed into your Airbnb account, it will prompt you to sign into Airbnb first. But once you are signed in, you will need to click on Allow. And now you will be redirected back to Rentals United. You will be presented with a list of all properties that can be imported. Select the ones that you wish to import into Rentals United and then click on Import Properties Now. If you import more properties than your Rentals United contract allows, your contract will increase. The system will now take some time to import the property data. Once the blue clock symbol is gone, that is when the import has been completed. Now, I'm back a while later, and the properties have now been imported. If you wish to import more properties from another Airbnb account, click on Import from Airbnb, and in the dropdown, select Other Account. Make sure that you are signed out from any Airbnb account when you do this, as otherwise it will automatically redirect you to the one that you are signed into. You can also import more properties from the same account that you imported from before. However, please note that we do not recommend you to re-import properties that you have already imported once, as this will override the previous import of that property. Now, once you have all the property shells in Rentals United, it is time to add the property content to ensure that they are fully ready for the channel integration. Start by reviewing the properties first. Click on Edit or Improve next to the property. All property content is separated into seven tabs that you can see on the left hand side. Go through each tab and add the required content. If you add something or make a change, then make sure you click on Save and Next at the bottom. We do want to highlight that images are imported with a maximum size of 1024 times 682 pixels. So if you have higher quality images, we recommend that you re-upload those photos directly into Rentals United since there are some sale channels that will require higher pixels than this. Also keep in mind that your calendar needs to be manually updated with existing bookings before you connect to any sale channel. The Airbnb import will block the calendar for Airbnb bookings at the time of the import, but not for bookings coming from any other source or Airbnb bookings made after the import, even if they are blocked in your Airbnb account. Check out our video on how to update your calendar in Rentals United and keep it up to date manually for all new reservations until you have completed the channel connections.
Now, once you have reviewed the information that has been imported and added all the missing information, please note that there are some of this information that can be added in Batch. You can find the Batch Edit button by going to your Properties tab and click on Go to Advanced Settings. Here, select all your properties that you wish to batch edit and click on Batch Edit. Now everything in batch edit uh, mode is blank because everything you do in batch edit will override what is currently on the property. So only use the batch edit if you are certain you will not override data that you will be missing. Thank you for watching and I hope you find this video useful.